slap. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god, that's a good one. Oh, that's a great one, dude. I got one hook in her, too. Oh, come here. Oh my god, dude, that's a giant. Oh, that's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. All right, on that throwback chickadee. Golly, look at that fish. That is a giant. <laughs> Let's talk specs on the new throwback chickadee. So, this bait is a crawler style lure. Measures in at seven inches long, weighs at three ounces. And as you can see, there's a separate tail joint in the back here, which has that classic throwback rubber tail. Articulates on its own when it's swimming. Up in the front here, we have two big old metal wings that gives it that classic crawler action. Uh, it comes equipped stock with size two swimbait underground hooks. I would highly, highly, highly recommend you switch those out. These are my favorite hooks right here. The decoy quattros, size two. Size two is plenty for this bait. These are really strong hooks and uh, they have a really great hookup ratio. I throw this bait on a medium heavy action rod. This is the Leviathan Bushwhacker, which is not out yet, but something that would work very similarly is the Leviathan Omega medium heavy. So any of those rods that are moderate action, good for treble baits, um, anywhere from seven foot to eight foot, one to four ounces, all that will work. And my favorite line to throw with this bait is Seaguar and Vizex. Now, a lot of people wonder why I don't throw mono or braid for topwaters. And that's mainly just because I don't bring a whole bunch of rods on the paddleboard. Um, it's more versatile for me to put floral on a rod than it is to put mono. Because if I put mono, I can't fish a soft bait and vice versa. So, that's why I just run fluoro. As long as you're not pausing the bait, for extended periods of time, it should, shouldn't really be an issue. I've been fishing fluoro with topwaters for a long time, and uh, anything that's not a spook, it works really well with. Wake baits, crawlers, all that. So if you've never owned a crawler before, there's one really big thing that I think is super important for you to know, and that is the wings and how they operate. Now, you can catch a few fish on this bait, and it'll be fine, but eventually, a, one of those fish is gonna absolutely mutilate these wings, and then the bait's not gonna swim right. So it's really, really important that before you buy this bait, you know how to tune the wings. Now, it took me a little bit to learn, but once you learn why the wings make the bait swim, it's not too big of a deal. So first off, I would get a small pair of needle nose that you can fit right here. Never ever bend the wings on the side of the screw like this. Um, if you push against it to bend it like that, it's not gonna bend correctly. The second tool you wanna get is a pair of pliers that look like this, these big fat stubby stubby pliers, and I'll show you why we need those in a second. But let's just say you're fishing, right? And you hook into a fish and it bends the wing backwards like that. Boom, right? So now you can see that the wings are uneven. Obviously this needs some tuning. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pliers, grab it right here at the bend, and you're just gonna bend it a little bit. You don't wanna bend it too much. It doesn't take a whole lot. You want to bend it until the wings are even again. So as you can see, my wings are about even. Now I'm going to throw it in the water, test it out. Boom, swims good. If it doesn't swim good after adjusting like that, you're going to want to angle the wings. So as you can see, the wings are sort of cupped forward like this. So if I'm laying it flat on its belly, you can see the top of the wings. It's very important that the wing is angled properly. So just twist it like this apply a little bit of pressure and then try it again if it's not swimming properly after that you might need a new set of wings it may be just too beat up but those are the two big things make sure they are even first off you want to make sure this angle is proper it's like a 45 and then also you want to make sure that the wings are cupped forward just slightly so the bait can swim properly so let's just say your wing is bent almost beyond repair you've tried cupping it forward, you've tried bending them even, it's just not working. So as you can see here, we have a bend that is pretty much unfixable without taking the wing off. Um, now, what I like to do for these is I literally like to 
unscrew the wing. It's very simple. You just pull these pins out, you twist them far enough and they'll come out. Be really gentle so you don't strip the holes out. But you can take your wing, and this is like a last resort, take these big fat pliers right here. So you're gonna take your big fat pliers and you're gonna stick them over the wing just to where it meets the bend. And you're gonna squish that back into place. So now, when I squish it like that, now I have a flat surface again. So that bend is gonna be correct and the swim will be on par. And you can do this to both sides. Um, this will really increase the longevity of your wings. Boom, just like that, very simple. And you're just gonna reattach it. You actually don't even have to take all the screws out. You can just take, you can just leave one. Oh, other way. <laughs> you can just leave one like that and then boom, you're back in there. So with the amount of tuning and swim knowledge that you need to operate this bait, I probably would not recommend it to a beginner. Uh, I would definitely buy this bait if you have a little bit of experience, you know, fishing swim baits and tuning swim baits. Um, if it's your first crawler, I hope this helps and I hope that you can get your bait to swim right and catch some big bass. Um, a lot of times now you have to kind of sacrifice durability for action. Um, as many lures as there are out there, um, it becomes harder to make a lure that is invincible and also has a really amazing action. So you have to make compromises. This little stuff right here can be the difference between catching that next fish of a lifetime or just catching the three pounder that everybody else has caught. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy your chickadees when you get them. Peace out.